Doctor Who 60th Anniversary Wild Blue Yonder. Yeah, the, this episode really. I know it's a really popular one, but I'm just like. Eh. It was you a know, good episode, but it felt like a filler episode. It really did. Okay, which, so I mean, here, it kind of was. But, here's my know. take on it. This was a moderate, you know, like it's it's in the middle of the road Davies episode, yeah. but a middle of the road Davies episode is so much better than what we just got out of that this is magnificent That's comparatively. Tr- That's true. Comparatively, you know, this is it, a middle of the road Davies episode, which means it's good. It's just good. You know, it's not it, magnificent. Yeah, it it's not terrible. It's just, you know, it, it's middle of the road is it's good. Right. <laughs> uh, it's, it is basically midnight rewritten. And a little to bit of. Donna. Uh, yeah, to and include a, a Donna. Yeah, a little bit Donna of. Um, uh, the 11th hour. In that you've got yeah. a doctor without their TARDIS, without their screwdriver, having to figure things out with an impersonator. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. both both yeah. episodes have the doctor with no TARDIS, no sonic <laughs> screwdriver, and an impersonator wandering about. <laughs> but like yeah, when that... I when I watched it the first time, I'm like, uh, it feels like midnight. The episode Midnight. I mean, it's even the same, like, it's that, it's Tennant and Donna again. Uh, (laughs) Like, only this time, Donna got to be involved. (laughs) My arms are too long. Yeah, that was pretty weird. Yeah. In the the grand scheme of Doctor Who, that's pretty tame, but it's pretty weird. And then the draw gets wet. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But. Um, I mean, there were a lot of parallels to the episode Midnight. And in fact, there are a lot of, like, theories that that creature is the creature in Midnight, which I could totally see that. Yeah. One thing that yeah. was weird that was I thought was strange was, like... How much they use, like the titular song? Well, it's it's the U.S. Air Force, which st- strikes the problem. There, it's like, okay, why are they? Why is a British choir? I forget what, what exactly the thing was, singing the U.S. Air Force song. Like, is it? Would they pick it just because it, the TARDIS is blue. Is that what this? I mean, as far as the, you know, making it the title thing and all that, it's like, oh, yeah, that's fun. But I think, like, the phrase going out into the wild blue yonder has a different context than just being an Air Force song. Although they did mention in the episode how her granddad's like, that's a war song. (laughs) Yeah, that, it's, it's that's a, a song war song for the military. Why are you having kids sing that? And yeah. it's like, no, it's not a military. Hey, you song. gotta get them ready at a young. You gotta get them ready at a young age, okay? <laughs> I mean, they do have military schools for kids in the UK, so and in America. But yeah, and it's rock of the hair. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was sort of a weird choice, but mm, whatever. Um, but I mean, at least they addressed it in episode. Yeah, you know? it wasn't. They they hung the lampshade on it a little bit. <laughs> um, it's like yes, yeah. we understand this is a weird song for this series to pick up, a very American song, in a very British show. But. Um, Yeah, it, that was. I mean, that TARDIS likes to leave him a lot, doesn't it? 
I it's mean, like, I'm trouble you, ditching you. I mean, first of all, Donna intentionally threw that coffee. I mean, look at it. <laughs> oh, like I if mean, you watch the gif of it, she's just like, whoops. Hey, that's just called being absent minded and forgetting they have coffee in your hand. Although, um, although I'm pretty sure that the TARDIS planned that. Like, it would have never given her coffee. Yeah, fair. I mean, the TARDIS does like to cause trouble. But, I, I, yeah, and the whole situation, it's, it's set up. Too. Like, it set up the whole situation so that it would need to regenerate. It made a big scene and, and needed to regenerate so it could drop the doctor off at this point in time where he needed to do something. You know. Yeah. And so, and also have an excuse to leave. It was an only <laughs> opportunity because it also doesn't want the the things that the, they were dealing with to get onto the TARDIS. <laughs> although, 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 it has the same quality of Indiana Jones and the Lost Ark where it's like, <laughs> You, you know, if he had just not been there, it wouldn't, nothing would have happened. True. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this whole thing was just. If she didn't drop him off at that point in time, eventually the robot would have blown up the ship. The creatures would have been dispersed. Nothing bad would have happened. They wouldn't have had their attention drawn to, you know, they'd have been stuck out there. All safe and sound. The only difference is that, kind of like with Q and the Borg, how, hey, now we're aware of these things. Yeah. That is the only, only change that their exist, their presence there caused. Yeah. Yeah. yeah in the end, yeah, but... yeah. If they if they hadn't shown up at all, the countdown would have still gone on. They wouldn't have been smart enough to figure it out because they needed the doctors capacity look like to figure that out and well that's as, why the that's why the lady killed herself to begin with yeah uh, the captain killed herself to begin with because they couldn't copy her her mind and stop the countdown so that way they were oblivious to the sounds and that's why also that the countdown wasn't translated for him because that way the not the doctor wouldn't have that information as well. Yeah. I, I find it funny that the doctor did the TARDIS equivalent of leaving the keys in the car. Yeah. <laughs> there, there it goes. So, uh, so a, few, a few things... Uh, my a few notes are wondering or whatever about like the um he, w would you call them clones i guess i would call them replicants okay okay so so my question is uh so um if there were like five people would there be five replicants or like so on and so forth yes probably because what it is is it is not a singular entity it is yeah. an energy that begins coalescing based off of their brain patterns uh. and the reason why it gets cold is they're taking the heat out of the air to create matter oh yeah that makes sense so they're, they're basically converting energy into matter Kind of going first into an explosion, turning matter into energy. And my other note about that is, um, if they're practically making like perfect copies, right, of the Doctor mm -hmm. and Donna, right, like completely perfect copies, wouldn't well, that mean that when they're like fully one hundred percent them, that they would be them, like they would be morally good and all that stuff. Like they like the same morals, same memories, and everything. So it's like okay, not necessarily because just because you have the same 
you know, you you have the same you have access character. to the same memories. Yeah. yeah. It's like you and I, we can watch the same episode and have two different takes on it. Yeah, true. Like they are, you know, they are picking up the energies emitted from our universe as well. So, like oh. they said, they were picking up on all the hate and rage and violence. <laughs> oh, so that... you mean they, got, they got on Twitter. And Facebook. But they're picking up on all that because, you know, that kind of vibrant energy travels faster. And so they picked okay. up on all of the violence and the destruction and the death of the universe that the doctor was part of in that what the flux series um and so they were able to pick up on that and just because they're able to access the doctor and donna's memories and their thoughts it's kind of like reading a book or watching you know they're immersing themselves in that information but it doesn't mean that information is them, even if they take on that form. Because they <sighs> still have that outside experience. <sighs> okay, something just occurred to me. Okay, um, I don't remember the name of the episode. Not not this one, but a uh, previous episode from way back. Meep. Um, oh. No. Um, so they were in this episode, they were at like the edge of the universe, right? Oh, are you talking about Utopia? No, uh, maybe. The one where they were on that spaceship and the universe was ending? No, not that and one. And with Yana? No, not that one. See, what I'm thinking is uh, the episode where it was the Daleks and the Cybermen episode and they're like this void ship that traveled between universes. Oh, that's that's not the edge of the universe. Okay, so the that void the thing between dimension. and the edge. Yeah, that's that the void is um it's kind of like it's hard to explain in a two two or three dimensional sense, but in a club sandwich kind of like, you have the meat, no, no, you no. have the bread, okay, so, you have the <laughs> the no, void no, no. is between so, the meat. <laughs> So, you know how you've used Photoshop before, right? Yeah, occasionally. You know how you can change, you can overlap two pictures and change the opacity so you can see either picture? Yeah. Well, each universe in the multiverse is another layer. You have the whole picture. That's the, that's the universe itself that you're in. But each you know, each dimension is another layer and that void is, you know, messing with the opacity. And so what they're doing in this episode is they're scrolling past the edge of the picture. Whereas uh, in Doomsday, um, <clears throat> what they were doing was just changing the opacity so they can get to that other dimension that other layer they were merging okay. layers okay. slightly yeah <laughs> so the edge of the universe and the void are two different things yes yeah the, the void, void is, is between universes between universe yeah yeah edges yeah. at the edge of these this universe you know, but this is the, because they're all overlapping it's not they all have an edge but those edges do not interact uh, do not connect to each other it's not like a bunch of little bubbles it's more like play you know layers of a single picture yeah. okay that makes sense space the final frontier <laughs> wrong franchise <laughs> <laughs> wrong franchise for this particular <laughs> review we already mentioned Q. Because uh, why would that? The I Q is never that. wrong, so. True. <laughs> Super slow, self destruct. I, I love that. It's like, I can't remember the exact numbers. So I'm just making it around. Wait, 
don't you speak like 10 million languages? I speak 10 billion. Except this yeah. one. <laughs> Would be the one lang one few languages he doesn't <laughs> naturally speak. It's like the chart is translated any language because of a psychic field it produces. And the reason why it can translate any language is kind of the way the universal translator works ish, where it's able to pick up on <coughs> the intentions of the language yeah. and therefore yeah. translate it as the opposed to, you know, be just being a linguist and being able to, discern syntax out of hearing a stream of words plus only hearing a list of a list is not enough to discern a linguistic set oh yeah well like, there was there was like uh there was one like was it we'll get Lafrain that it doesn't translate because it, it doesn't translate Old Gallifrey. Yeah, yes. Old Gallifrey and the sort of circular bits they don't, and it takes a little bit of time with the the river people that um, yeah. whatever that people was. It took a, a second to to translate it, and so that's why that, well, that whole issue it, with the river. Thing is, that whole no, that that's not. It didn't take a little time to translate. It's or is that she was they disconnected? They did not it? have the same word, you know, yeah. frames of reference. Like they didn't have rivers. So yeah. well, yeah, that's why. It, that's why hers, but her name water. became that. But that's not yeah. why it. She had the little piece of cloth in her hands, and that translated yeah. or something. She said it takes a second to translate, but you know this. Which that's one of my favorite. That's one of my favorite moments of eleventh, is at the end of, of of that whole situation, and and when eleven figures out who River is, but we and you and, oh, and we, yes. <laughs> ah. I mean, I, you gotta love Alex Kingston. <laughs> yeah, and it just. And then, and then, even if you don't like River Song as a character, you've got to love Alex King. Yes, well, just... she's, a, she's a decent character. I liked her. Yeah. Oh no, I love River Song. Yeah. I'm just saying, uh, it's even the, if, just even that if sweet your little moment. preference, even if your preference is uh, River Song, you can't hate Alex Kingston, the actress. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's just I just I love that just that moment between 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 eleven and river at that moment it's like but oh wait no oh 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 okay and we did the yes yes <laughs> he's like ah okay and uh the, yes I'm I, going now I you take the them home that he's so awkward about just <laughs> kissing her like the tone and the context yeah makes it seem like they did a lot more than kissing in that episode <laughs> and it's like we, but uh, yes, <laughs> and I love how Eleven is so innocent, <laughs> like so just. He's like a little puppy. <laughs> I love how um, I love how the doctor likes to lick stuff and pretend he got poisoned. I I, I think David Tennant himself has an oral fixation at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's a he's a great doctor. <laughs> I, but, how many actors can you say have been the doctor technically three times? Yeah. Yeah. Because he's the doctor, he's the meta crisis doctor, and he's the doctor again. Well, yeah, yeah and and he just he used up a regeneration, but kept the face if you want to count that. And... Yeah. But that. Using it, using up a regeneration and keeping the face, are, is how they created the Metacrisis Doctor. Yeah, I know. It's sort of whether you want to count so, both of them at the same time, you know. But yeah, <laughs> the Doctor so really likes Tin's face. 
He really likes. I don't really know, likes it's being just 10. because fans really like Ten's face. Yes, and... I know, but it's sort of in universe. It's funny. He's like, you really like that 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 regeneration <laughs> for some reason, don't you? No, no, no. You know what it is? He's so skinny that he's the only person who can fit those suits. And the TARDIS is like, well, I mean, pretty much anybody can fit into that that leather jacket or that multicolored jacket. Nobody would want to, but plenty of people can wear Six's jacket or this and that. Like, most of the outfits are pretty, anybody could wear them. But that suit can only be worn by that walking celery stalk named david tennant <laughs> which is funny given his father-in-law true <laughs> you in fact use celery stalk <laughs> oh oh um one thing that i'm kind of like i'm kind of happy they they used it the whole vampires happen to count like spilled salt or whatever because that is a true thing but you don't see that used in many movies or tv shows i mean it was used in x-files oh yeah like it's used occasionally but not that often so that's honestly, because that... they're too busy making the vampires sparkle oh yeah yeah but it's, I, it's, it's basically I, I like it's a that. it's a opportunity cost you can have your yeah. vampires count things or you can have them trying to eat people you know yeah, be sexy honestly, or violent honestly i did like that i, I thought that was nice it's like oh yeah yeah although uh madrock you watched the next episode right oh most definitely i keep on watching that one song <laughs> You know, I haven't watched it yet, so one of, one of the role like, players. Like I said, like I, I said, that's all I'm saying. But one of the role players um, in Twitter role play that I interact with, he plays the toy maker. His URL is Toy Spice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, For that very reason. In fact, after this, I'm probably gonna listen to that, watch that one part again. Yeah, I'm just going to rewatch the whole episode. That is like the best episode in a long ass time. Oh, definitely. <laughs> like, uh... keep in mind, we I, I mean, there was four ye four seasons of that uh, where even the best episodes were still subpar compared yeah. to But yeah. I mean, this is probably my favorite episode in a long ass time oh yeah With like the the bob blue yonder or the next one no get the giggle okay yeah while well, blue yonder are good. Was, all episodes are good dark it, two is perfect there's no bad I mean, episodes i mean while blue yonder is okay it's not uh, it's not the oh, yeah, it was, or anything it was, but it okay. wasn't it wasn't bad but it, it wasn't the giggle it's middle of the road it babies is. which is good it's just yeah, yeah. It, his it, his it, average it, is good yeah yeah it, the average it's is a good little it's a little derivative for my taste like it is basically like a rewrite of the uh of midnight to me like there were some fun little things i liked the interaction where he worked through some of his recent shit, but I think on a, on the whole, the episode was just okay. Yeah. And then you get to the giggle where I I have watched it like six times, and each time I still love it. <laughs> I haven't watched it once, so I have no opinion yet. Enjoy it, because <laughs> that's for next week. Yes. We will be discussing that next week, and I will be watching it at some point between now and then. So we shall see. Watch it like five times. <laughs> Only five? Damn. <laughs> well, Restraint. One day a week. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, overall, I guess we can all say day. it's 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 average an average Davies episode 
but an average Davies episode is so much better than what we've been dealing with that it's, you know, <laughs> by comparison, it's, 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 it's astonishing compared to what I we've mean, been dealing with. I mean, a bad with. Davies episode is still better than the Flux. Yeah, the worst of worst of Davies. I, I would rather watch the the. I would rather watch the Absorbaloff episode than a lot of, the, <laughs> the the lot of the the but To bunch. be fair, I like the Absorbaloff episode a little bit more than I liked Midnight. Because well, Midnight I'm just was going so after because that's me. that's the one everybody goes. Okay, that's his clunker is, oh, is love. You and mean monster. love and monster? Honestly, I think forty two was worse. That's what this but is. But that was like. also written by Chibnall, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm fairly certain forty two was written by Chibnall, so that's not shocking. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, I rarely look at episode uh, names, so I have no idea what any of these episodes are about. Forty two was the episode with Martha with the living son that oh, they okay. were using the sun as fuel, and it started possessing people. Wait, the same son that made that uh, cute little creature go mad? No, 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 no. The It was, um, <clears throat> they were on a spaceship. And I'll be honest, I haven't watched it in ages because I just, like, uh, 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 that episode sucked. But, um. Wait, it's not the episode. episode written by Chris it. Chibnall. It, it was, right? Yep. I just double-checked. It, it it was the episode. Oh, the new season premieres in May. Ooh, nice. But um, did you watch the um the holiday special? No, I not yet. I'm watching it in order. Okay. No, I was asking Nadra. Oh, him. Okay. Okay. So on a, a spaceship yeah. headed straight for the center of the sun, the Doctor only has 42 minutes to save Martha and this ship's crew from an inevitable doom um the doctor and martha find themselves trapped aboard a ship that will in 42 minutes collide with the sun unable to access the tardis there is only one solution repair the engines that have been sabotaged by hal corwin who has been taken over by an alien being as the crew races to keep the uh, keep from burning up in the sun corwin is killing the crew one by one meanwhile martha and another crewman work their way through a series of doors to get to the auxiliary engine control, but soon find themselves trapped in an escape pod, which is then jettisoned from the main craft. Back on Earth, Martha's Ooh. mother is still worried about her daughter being with the doctor and decides to do something about it. Uh, That's the synopsis. But, yeah. But again, you didn't like 42, but that's also a Chibnall episode, so I think Davies gets a little bit of a pass there. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair. I guess I should ask, uh, what was Midnight about? Midnight was the one where they were uh, where they were on vacation and Donna was sitting in the spa and so the doctor decided to take a tour down these diamond uh, down through the, this diamond thing but they had to keep the entire van covered because of the ultraviolet light or whatever and so while they're in this kind of a cross between a train and a van they were um having they were hearing sounds outside and then this suddenly people started getting possessed it started with that one lady and she just started repeating everything the doctor said and oh okay okay i remember that now and i'm just like it had uh, it had um colin morgan in it the the kid who then played merlin later on Oh, nice. But it was a not. It was an episode that really is really popular. But I'm just like, eh, huh, not really that good for me. I, I wasn't a fan. It's been a while since I've watched Doctor Who from the beginning, so I think I will. Yeah, same, but I just, I've been randomly watching classic episodes. And by the time I catch up, it'll be the new season. Yeah, considering how much we work. 
Okay. Well, I think we've we didn't have as much to say about this episode. Um, I mean, it yep. was it was okay, but it wasn't great. It, it was, was it was an have... average Davies episode. It was so it was good. Yeah. Yep. I'll just I'll just say one more thing to whoever watches this. Uh, I know it's late, but Happy New Year! So I hope it was good and goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>